So to create biped, go to create option, settings, biped, click and drag. Next, go to motion panel and click on figure mode. Center your biped. Then go to structure and make adjustments to hands and feet by changing amount of fingers and toes. So we have a one toe with one link. Next, scale the toe and then copy and paste to opposite so they look alike. Turn off the figure mode and start animate. So select your biped, lock the track so you can move and adjust position of the figure. Then click auto keyframe and start positioning. So rotate front leg and foot as well as arm. Click the center of the gravity, pull the figure down, adjust the leg again. And rotate the whole body on the angle because your character is running, not walking. Next, keyframe all the body parts. And you can notice that our timeline is too long, so we need to shorten. I'll go with uh, 40. It's an even number and easy to divide. Remember, you can always change the length of animation later. Let's copy our first pose, go to the end of your animation, paste as it is, and then go to the middle and paste opposite. Now we need two more poses, actually one pose in between. So go to frame 10 and change the pose. So this pose will present the character in the air. And don't worry about details, you add them later. Just get the basic pose. Move it the figure up, because remember our character is in the air. And again, copy and paste opposite to frame Terry. And when you play animation, you notice there's something wrong because we didn't copy the vertical position of the character. So go back to keyframe 10 and copy the vertical position. Go to frame 30 and paste. And now we have our character, which is supposed to be. But right now the animation is too slow, so we need to change the length of animation. Let's switch to maybe Let's say 24. Click OK. And you notice our timeline got shorter. And click OK again. And play your animation. So it looks a little bit better, but we need to make some adjustment to the body. So it looks more realistic. Rotate hips. And now we can grab at the pose, copy. Paste opposite and just paste it again. So all those three major poses are alike. Now let's adjust in between poses. Again, we can make, a, make some adjustments to hips as well as to torso. And again, we need to copy and paste opposite. So we can add a little bit more drama. So let's go and adjust 
the major three poses. Let's bend the body a bit more by rotating spine. And again, how much adjustment you add, it all depends if your character is young or your character is old or it's a man or woman. So let's adjust the timing a bit more. So maybe let's try 20 frames. Click OK and OK again and play the animation. And we can adjust the position of the arm. Let's rotate arms more. So keep working and keep adjusting to your likings. Thank you.